Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, just want you to know that I have series of videos for grade 7, grade 8, and grade 9 math. In this video, you are going to learn about how to solve word problems involving linear inequalities in two variables. First, let's uh, learn some key phrases for the given inequality symbols. So for greater than, we have is greater than, is more than, above, or exceeds. For less than, we can have is less than, is fewer than, or below. For greater than or equal, is at least, is greater than, or equal to, is no less than, or minimum. For less than or equal, is at most, is no more than, is less than, or equal to, or maximum. Which means, if we have the greater than or equal symbol, it means that's the minimum that we can give. That's the minimum value that we can give. If we have this less than or equal, it means that's the maximum value that we can give, is at most. So let's have some examples of translation of this. A is more than 5. So A is greater than 5. We have the value of A is at most 10. So at most, here, at most means less than or equal. So the value of A is at most, so that is A is less than or equal to 10. A is not more than 7. A is not more than 7 which means that A is less than or equal to 7, not more than. Okay, next we have the value of A is at least 6. It means that's the max, the, at least 6 means that's the minimum. A is greater than or equal to 7. So let's have a word problem that involves inequality in two variables. So here, if a cost of oranges is 65 pesos per kilo and an apple costs 50 pesos per kilo, how many combinations of kilos of oranges and apples I can buy if I will spend at most 650 pesos? Okay, so first we need to underline the given, we have here 65 kilos, or I mean 65 per kilo, 65 pesos per kilo of apple, and we have here the inequality at most. So we need to identify that too. At most, when you say at most, that's the maximum that you can pay. Okay, so yun ay pinakamataas na kaya mong ibayad, 650 pesos, pesos at most. It means it can be less than, pwede mas mababa doon, pero yun ay pinakamataas. So now, you're going to identify the two variables first. So let x is equal to num number of kilos of oranges, and let y the number of kilo of apples. And then, we're going to write the inequality. So, to write an equality, you need to uh, write here, of course, cost per kilo of oranges times how many kilos you're going to buy, number of kilos, plus cost per kilo of apple, and how many kilos that you are going to buy. Then, the inequality, which is at most, is less than or equal to 650 pesos. Okay? So now, this one, since we know that the the cost now is 65 for oranges. So let's put 65 here. And then number of kilos that is x. So this is, is this is x. Here the cost per of kilo of apple is 50. And then this is y. So it means the inequality now is 65 times x plus 50 times y is less than or equal to 650. 
Okay, next. Now we're going to graph the inequality. Why do we need to graph the inequality? Kasi mas madali nating makikita kung nasaan yung mga solution ng inequality. Okay, so ngayon, ang gagawin natin to solve or to graph, express the inequality as equality. So papalitan lang natin ito ng equal sign. So ayan. And then after that, assign values of x to solve for y. At least two values of x. Para at least kaya natin i-graph. Kaya natin mag-graph. Um, Now, dito, the easiest way is to solve for the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Mas madaling i-graph pag uh, isusolve natin yung x and the y-intercept. So, let's do that. x-intercept and y-intercept. To solve for the x-intercept, we let y is equal to 0. Which means, we're just going to substitute y here with this value is equal to 0. So, we have 65x plus 50 times 0 is equal to 650. And this is equal to 0, so what do we have now is 65x is equal to 650. Then you are going to solve for x. We're just going to divide both sides by 65. 65. So 65 divided by 65 is 1, or we can cancel that now. And 650 divided by 65 is 10. Which means that if, x, uh, if y is 0, x is 10. So, that's the ordered pair. Okay, now, let's have the y-intercept. So, let x is equal to 0. And just substitute x there. So, we have 65 times 0 plus 50 times y is equal to 650. Then, solve for y. So, we have 50y is equal to 650. And then, we're going to divide both sides by 50. Here is also 50. And this is 1, so y is equal to 13. Okay? So we have here now another ordered pair, which is 0 is x, 13 is y. Okay, what are we going to do next? We okay, so plot the points in Cartesian plane. And that's the zero, uh, point zero 0.013, and this is 10, 0. Let's darken the line. Why I use solid line? Because of the inequality symbol which is less than or equal. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng points sa makikita dito ay kasama siya sa solution. Okay, now, sa ang part ngayon ng plane? Di ba, ang graph ng inequality ay half plane. Saan ba dito ba? Or dito? Now, magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng test point at gagamitin natin ang origin para malalaman natin if saan makikita dito sa side na to makikita ang solution natin. So, ayan, 0, 0 ang test point natin. Ibig sabihin, substitute lang natin yung x na 0 and y and 0 sa ating original na inequality. So, 65x plus 50y is less than or equal to 650 replace x and y to 0, 0, which means 0 is less than 650, which is true. It means, dito sa side na to makikita yung solution kasi true yung nagiging result natin dito. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, dito siya makikita. So, let's shade that part. Okay? So, this is now the shaded part or region. But, remember na ang hinahanap natin dito ay number of kilos. So, ibig sabihin, positive lang ang kukuni natin. Kasi wala naman tayong negative kilo, something like that. Pabili ng negative kilos, negative 2 kilos. So, ibig sabihin, nasa first quadrant lang. Yung mga ordered pair na makikita natin sa first quadrant. Doon lang, kasi doon lang siya positive. Ibig sabihin, dito lang, mula dito hanggang dyan, or mula din hanggang doon. So, ito lang yung shaded part na pwede natin i-consider na solution set ng given problem natin. Oh, let's see, um, 2, 4. So, pumili tayo ngayon ng point, 2, 4. Ibig sabihin, ang x natin ay 2, ang, four, ang y natin ay 4. Ibig sabihin, bumili ka ng 2 kilos of oranges and 4 kilos of apples. Tingnan natin kung magiging true ang statement natin. So, 65 times 2, ang x natin, plus 50 times 4, 
is less than or, great or equal to 650. So that is 130 plus 200 is less than 650, which is 320. The total amount that you're going to pay is 320 for 2 kilos of oranges and 4 kilos of apples, which is less than 650. So pwede ito, pasok siya. Kasi, ang sabi dito, less than. Pwedeng less than or equal. Ibig sabihin, ito lang ang pwedeng maximum na pwede mong gastusin. Okay? Now, ano naman ang ibig sabihin ngayon ng uh, given natin dito na, di ba sabi ko kanina, ang 0 to 13, ang mga points na makikita dito ay kasama sa solution. So, ibig sabihin, ang 0 13 ay part, ang 10 0 is part of the solution. Kasi nandun, nandun sila sa line at the same time, nasa positive area sila. Sa, okay, ibig sabihin yan, bumili ka, Yung pera, ang ginamit mo, lahat, ang pera mo para bumili ng uh, ano yung Y na yun, kilo o kilos of apple. So, 13, minaximize mo yung pera mo, inubos mo lahat sa apples lang. Hindi ka bumili ng oranges, kaya zero siya. Okay? So, pag hindi ka bumili ng oranges, ibig sabihin, ang kaya mong bilhing kilos ng apples are 13 kilos. Dito naman, pag hindi ka bibili ng... Uh, apples, ibig sabihin, ma-maximize mo yung pera mo, pwede kang bumili ng 10 kilos of oranges. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng ordered pair na yan. Okay? So, 0 kilos of apples, 10 kilos of oranges. So, let's see. Okay, ba? So, tama lang ang pera mo. 650, pag pinalitan mo yan ng 10 and 0, 650 is less than or equal to 650. So, na-maximize mo yung dala mong pera o yung gusto mong spend. Kaya, okay, so dito naman, 13 kilos of apples ang gusto mong bilhin at uh, 0 kilo of oranges. So, pag sinubstitute natin yan, ang sagot niyan, 650 is less than or equal to 650. Ayan, na-maximize mo rin yung dala mong pera. Now, what are other solutions here? Ano pa bang ibang solutions? Kung gusto mo malaman kung ano pa, kung ilan pa na mga combination ang gusto mo, pwede natin isolve ng ganito. Let's say, naisip mo, gusto mong bumili ng 5 kilos of oranges. So, ilang kilo kaya ng uh, apples ang gusto kong iso, uh, bilhin? ba? Ang naisip mo lang, nalimitahan mo yung sarili mo na, ah, I just need uh, 5 kilos of oranges. So, Ilang kilos kaya ang kaya kong bilhin na apples dito? Okay? So, ngayon, ito ngayon kung paano natin malalaman yan. So, uh, substitute lang, 65 times 5 plus 50 times y is less than or equal to 650. And 65 times 5 is 325 plus 50y is less than or equal to 650. Then, we can now uh, isolate y. So, ibig sabihin, mag-subtract so, tayo ng 325 both sides of the equation. So, dito din, 325. Okay? So, this becomes 0. So, what we have now is 50y is less than or greater than 650 minus 325. So, what is 50y is less than or equal to 325. 650 minus 325 is 325. And then, divide both sides by 50. And then, divide by 50. And this is equal to 1. So, y is equal to, or I mean, y is less than or equal to 6.5. Ano ibig sabihin yan? Pag, ika, pag ang bibilhin mo, nakafix ka na gusto mong bumili ng 5 kilo ng oranges, ang pinaka mataas na kilos na pwede mong bilhin para ma-maximize mo yung pera mo na 650 ay 6.5 kilos. Okay? So, 6 at kalahating kilo. Yun. Ang, hang, hanggang doon lang ang kaya mong bilhin na kilo of apples.
pag limang kilo ang oranges na gusto mong bilhin. Now, ano ibig sabihin yan? So, pwede kang bumili ng 6, pwede kang bumili ng 5, pwede kang bumili ng 4 kilos, pwede kang bumili ng 3 kilos. Yan ang ibig sabihin nito. Okay? Hindi ka pwedeng bumili ng 7. Kasi pag 7 na, lalampas na siya dito. Ang limit mo ay 650 pesos lang. Okay, let's say ngayon, ang naisip mo naman ay uh, 10. Ang bibilin mong kilos ng apples ay 10. So, ilan kaya ang pwede kong bilhin na oranges pag na-fix ko na gusto ko ng 10 kilos of apples? Ilan kaya ang kilos ng oranges ang kaya kong bilhin? Okay, so now, ganun din ang gagawin mo. Substitute mo lang yung x natin ay x pa rin at yung y natin ay 10. So, 65 times x plus 50 times 10 is less than or equal to 650. So, that is 65x plus 500. 50 times 10 is less than 650. And 65x, so what we're going to do is subtract both sides by 500. And the other side also is 500. So, therefore, this is 0. So, 65x is equal to what? 100 is, I mean, 65x is less than or equal to 150. Now, dividing both sides by 65 para masolve natin yung x. Okay. So, ang... Pwede mong bilhin. So, x now is less than or equal to 2.3. So, ang hirap naman 2.3 pag bumili tayo, di ba? Ang hirap nang i-identify ng uh, nagtitinda yung 0.3 na yan. So, usually ang binibili natin ay kalahate, 1 fourth, 3 fourth, something like that. So, now, dito naman, pero pag digital naman ang... Uh, uh, ang ginagamit nilang weighing scale ay pwedeng-pwede pa rin bumili ng ganyan. So, ibig sabihin, yun ang maximum na pwede mo bilhin. So, ngayon, kung, kung exact naman ang number na gusto mong bilhin, kung ilang kilo talaga, per kilos talaga ang bibili natin, ibig sabihin, eh, x, is, x is less than or equal to 2. So, ano ibig sabihin yan? Pag ang gusto mong bilhin na uh, kilos of apples, ay 10 kilos, kaya mo lang bumili ng dalawang kilo ng dalawang kilos ng oranges lang. Okay? Yun ang ibig sabihin. And then, you can try different combination here. You can try 6 kilos of X, that is oranges, and 4 kilos of uh, apples. ba? Diba? So, ayan, lahat ng combination dito. So, that's how you're going to solve problems involving inequality. And you see now the relation of this or uh, kung gaano siya kahalaga sa real life. Pero pag bumili naman tayo sa palengke, mano-mano uh, ang, ang estimate natin naman doon. But this is how, let's say, maramihan na sa isang ano ka, na is, nasa isang factory ka, madamihan ngayon ang gusto nating by bulk yung order natin ngayon. So, kailangan gagamitan mo siya ng mga ganitong style paano isosolve natin. That's all for this video and thank you for watching. I hope this one helps in your uh, lesson about problems involving inequality. That's all. Bye. See you on the next one. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.